Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to add extensions to your Google Chrome web browser. So let's say you heard one of your friends on the street talking about this new extension online, whether it be for ad blocking or for newspaper clipping, or who knows what, to be perfectly honest with you guys, there's so many out there. This tutorial will be for you. So very straightforward tutorial we have in store for you guys today. And first thing we're going to do is open up our Google Chrome web browser. We're going to select the three dotted icon up at the top right corner, which will give us additional options. So you want to left click on that. Scroll down to where it says more tools. And when you're hovering over this, left click on extensions on the left side on this new menu that appears. At the bottom of this list there should be a button that says get more extensions. You want to left click on that. This will take you to the Google Chrome web store which should have many extensions present in it. There are games, there's different activities in here as well. There's a Google mail checker there's LastPass, there's Grammarly, Office Online, there's a lot of very good tools that are included in this web store and you can very easily search for any tools right here. So there are many users that will actually use extensions so you can actually let's just say type in something here and then Google will try and figure out what we're searching for. So let's just say I type in Amazon just for the sake of typing in Amazon, no particular reason. And let's say we want to use the Amazon Assistant for Chrome we see underneath is this offered by and it'll tell us the website name and it'll also tell us what other OS's it'll be applicable for as well so we could see we could use it on the Chrome browser for Android as well so this is common for any application you see on here especially the more well-known ones this one only has about 1100 ratings so it's definitely not one of the most popular ones so let's do one that's probably gonna be a little more popular let's type in last pass here which is a free password manager. We see this one has about 19,000 reviews. So if I actually just left click on this tile, we get a lot of information about the extension. We see which website's offering the extension number one or who's developing it right here. And it'll give us usually a link to the website of the developer. We'll have a rating here for how many users have rated it so far and what the average rating is. We see what the app is categorized as, and this one seems to be productivity. We can see how many active users this app has, which is almost 5 million. So like I said, you will definitely find the more popular ones. Obviously, will have more reviews and will be more trustworthy generally. Uh, we can see that, again, this one is also available for Android. We see on the right side, there's usually going to be a description here. It tells you what exactly it's going to be doing. Again, there'll be a link for the website. And we can see additional information about the specific app update history and when it was last updated, how big it is, and languages it's available in. And then if we left click on the reviews tab, we can see different reviews. Um, I say real because I hope that they're real, but you can get a general idea of what you think of the product. You can also left click on the support tab, which will pose questions to the support site. Now I really don't see that many comments on here for the developers, so I don't know how useful this is, and I really don't know too much about the support tab, but that's just something to keep in mind. It doesn't really mean that much in my honest opinion. And you can see there's a questions tab and a suggestions tab and a problem tab. And there's also a related tab as well that will give you related applications to this. And then let's just say we want to install it. Just left click on this little button that says add to Chrome. So then we'll get a notification asking us to confirm if we want to install this application. And then we'll very importantly get a little note here exactly what it's going to modify or have access to. So we can see that this one app in general can read and change all your data on the websites you visit. And it will also display notifications. Now this is rather common, especially for something like a password manager, but just definitely keep in mind what kind of privileges you're giving this application. So once you're read through this and you're ready to go, just left click on add extension. Now you might have to restart your browser for it to take effect for some of these extensions, but I do not believe this one is going to require that.
It's downloading the extension. And honestly, it shouldn't take very long to download the extension, so we're just going to wait here for a moment. So we can see the password manager has been added to Google, and often it'll open up its own web page to try and get you set up. At this point, depending on the app, you can enter your email and get registered if you want. And then we see we also have an icon up at the top. Most extensions will have an icon up here. And once we create an account, we would log in, and we'd have additional information through here. But again, every extension will be a little bit different. So let's say after a while you're tired of this extension, you wanted to delete it or disable it. That's very easy to do as well. You would head back up to this three vertical dotted icon up at the top right, and then left click on settings. Then you can go back underneath the extensions tab, which this happens to be another way that we could access the extensions like we did in the beginning. This is another alternative way to do it. We have this extension down here. We see that's currently set to enabled. If you just want to disable it without actually uninstalling it, you can just uncheck it and it'll become grayed out. If you want to re-enable it, you just left click on this little box to re-enable it. Now if you want to delete it completely, you can just left click on this little trash can icon and then it will confirm the removal by left clicking on remove. And then that will pretty much remove the extension and when you see it's no longer in this list. So once you're done doing that, you can close out of the web browser and you really should be good to go. So I hope this brief overview of extensions helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.